Chantel and Jojo are nominated for eviction, but who will win the final Golden Power Veto of the season, and will they use it? Find out now on Big Brother Cheesecake 3 Under the Sea. Hello, I'm Andrew Shesek Moonves. Welcome to Big Brother Cheesecake 3 Under the Sea. It's day 78 inside the Big Brother Cheesecake House, and this week, Alvin is the head of household. He nominated Chantel and Jojo for eviction. But who will win the Golden Power Veto? We'll find out shortly. But first, uh, there was first order of business. Alvin did mention that I forgot to read something that he said in the group chat that he wanted me to read it in today's video. So this was supposed to be from the day before, and I forgot. So I promised him I would say it. So after the video from Sunday, Alvin said, Wow, Jonathan really is the most bitter of them all, huh? I've been calling someone a psychopath is a bit extreme. And for some of them that are so-called super fans... They should really be embarrassed for themselves. That's my two cents on that. With that said, I love this Final Four. Congrats to all of us making it this far. Okay. Um, now, uh, before I get to the results of the Big Brother Staircase Golden Power Veto competition, there was again some controversy because last week when Alvin helped... Um, Lynn in the Mastermind competition, uh, which I know she doesn't want me to mention. I'm just, I'm saying there were no rules broken. There was no cheating, but uh, it was the fact that I didn't know and that was, I didn't know that Alvin was helping Lynn. That's what pissed me off, blah, blah, blah. Um, I specifically said to the house guests yesterday morning, please, and I said it to the jurors too, please refrain from talking to the jurors. We're in the last week now. Let's keep the game as authentic and pure as possible. Do not talk to jurors. Then I find out late in the day yesterday that Julian knew the clues to the Staircase Power Veto competition. So, of course, I was not happy. I, 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 at the time, and I'm the type of person I get really, really mad, and then hours later I forget about it and I'm fine. So I am fine now, again. Um, and nobody fessed up to it, which meant one of five things. Either Julian was lying and he didn't actually have the clues, which I don't... I've determined I don't think is the case. Or Alvin, Chantel, Lynn, or Jojo was lying to me. Um, I'm pretty... Well, w one house guest did privately come to me and admit that they were the ones that sent Julian the clues. So I've talked to that person. I forgive that person. Uh, that person did not win the Golden Power Veto competition. So even if Julian specifically gave that person responses... That person still did not win. So, Julian, if that's true, <laughs> you suck. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, yeah. So, luckily, I wasn't put in that horrible moral dilemma of if that person won, do I strip them of the veto without clear evidence, even though they said they sent it to Julian. Well, like, what do I do? Luckily, I'm not put in that position because it was not the person who s sent the clues to Julian who won the veto. Okay, now it's time to get to the results to the Big Brother Staircase Golden Power Veto Competition. So every year that I've used this competition, I go into it thinking, oh, this is going to be so easy for them. They're going to get 32 easily, and it's going to be a dumb competition. And every year, the house gets struggle. And this year, you guys were probably the strongest Final Four in terms of your... Uh, Q&A knowledge and your ability to know what happened in the game. Jeffrey got 22 in Season 1, Chanel got 21 in Season 2. The brilliant thing to this game is there's 16 stairs, each with a house guest, and there's two clues for each of them. What's brilliant is it's like Sudoku. If you have one wrong, the entire combination will be wrong. 
because that one that you have wrong links to another one that is wrong, and it causes a chain effect of multiple answers that are wrong. And Chantal did point out, and it's true, that there may be more than one possible combination. Um, and there were a lot of you that had ones that were technically correct, because, like, for instance, Evicted Day... Oh, I lost it now. Where the hell did it go? There we... Oh, up there. Evicted Day 58. That was a double eviction. It could be Nicole, it could be Krista. Um, but in, in this case, I was referring to Nicole, but as you guys were trying to figure out the correct combination, you were switching that one out. But as long as you have one wrong, and you all, I'm going to get to it saying you all had one wrong the whole time, it'll never work. There's always going to be one out of whack that throws everything off. Another one, member of Shark, Tsunami, Marianas, Trench, Lads, and Lassies. The answer I was looking for was Julian. Jonathan was technically correct, but a couple of you had Alvin a lot in there. Alvin was not in Marianas, Trench. Um, okay, but the one that you all had wrong the whole time, and I put this in as a trick, and I, I went back and forth with it, oh, it's just kind of mean, uh, but I just I didn't want somebody to just get 32 just like that. I was, so yeah, I, I was tricky, I'll admit. The one you had wrong all along was number 13, never competed in a POV comp. You, you all had princess all along. The answer to that one was Adam. Because Adam qualified twice. The first time he gave it away to somebody, and the second time when he was nominated, he didn't show up. So as far as I'm concerned, he never competed in a POV comp. So, and you all had Princess there, and I, I know that one was a trick question. But because of that, that led to one wrong, which, which led to another one wrong, which led to nothing. So you guys were all out of whack the whole time. So the answers I was looking for was... Cast eviction vote for the first time, week three. Charlene. Some of you had Nicole. No, was it that one? Uh, no, it wasn't that one. Sorry. Cast eviction vote for first time, week three, was Charlene. Competed in Big Brother Spelling Bee, Lynn. Did not compete in Big Brother Virus, Princess. Evic see. Evicted day 58, Nicole. Evicted when nominated for the first time, Adam. First male non returnee evicted, Emad. Has won but never used POV, Alvin. Hates pineapple on pizza, Rhonda. Last house guest to receive colored letter and cover photo, Chantel. Likes pineapple on pizza, Chantel. Lost POV to Jonathan on week evicted, Rhonda. Member of Shark, Tsunami, Marianas, Trench, Lads, and Lassies, Julian. Never competed in a POV comp, Adam. Never won a competition, Krista. Nominated three times. Uh, there were a few answers here, but Amy was the answer I was looking for. Not nominated until at least final seven. Jojo opened one of the last fast fo no opened one of the fast forward pearls. Caitlin opened seaweed tape and bottom of the sea. Answers were switched around here because there were multiple answers. Lynn played in first two POV comps and lost both. Chad played in one POV comp pre-jury. Caitlin received nine votes to evict. Charlene. Returning house guest with best previous season placement, Chad. Saved by Pooh Brown Vito, Amy. Second place in Big Brother Virus, Alvin. Used flipper on or before week three, Emad. Voted in first. Oh, I'm gonna get to that one last. Was backdoor princess. Was nominated week one, Nicole. Won two POVs in a row, Jonathan. Won HOH and POV in the same week, Jonathan. Which you guys had the two Jonathan ones right for the most part. Uh, okay, voted in first five eviction votes was Krista. A couple people had Nicole here. Nicole was head of household week three, so she couldn't have voted in that week. But Krista did vote in the first five evictions, and then she was nominated four times in a row. She never voted again. So, it was very close because you all made that mistake putting Princess as they never competed in a veto comp. It was razor, razor thin, which I'm happy about because I want it to be close. You all did well. Okay, uh, don't get me wrong. Nobody beat Jeffrey's 22. Nobody beat Chanel's 21. But again, that season, Chad got a three on his first attempt. Whoops! <laughs> okay, so let's start with Alvin. Alvin's score was 18 out of 32, his best score. Chantel's best score, 18 out of 32. JoJo's best score? 19 out of 32. JoJo leads by one. 
And Lynn's final score, her best score, 18, which means JoJo by just one. With 19 out of 32, you have won the final Golden Power of Veto of the season. Congratulations, it's now time since we're behind schedule this week. Let's go straight to the Golden Power Veto Ceremony. Hello, I am Jojo. I have won the Golden Power of Veto competition. Chantal, you have played a tremendous game, but I think it is will come as no surprise to anybody that I choose to use the Golden Power of Veto on myself. And Alvin, since there is nobody else to nominate, Lynn is automatically the replacement nominee, which means tomorrow I will evict Chantel or Lynn from the Big Brother Cheesecake 3 house. This final Golden Power of Veto ceremony is adjourned. Who will be evicted from the Big Brother Cheesecake 3 house finishing in fourth place? Chantel or Lynn? And who will win part one of the three-part Head of Household competition? Find out tomorrow. Who will win part two? Find out Thursday. And who will win part three and become the final Head of Household of the season? Friday. Saturday is the final live eviction of the season where we will learn the identities of the final two. Sunday, the jury members talk to Troy Zen from Survivor One World and Game Changers and discuss the merits of the final two. Uh, and they will ask the final two questions which the jury uh, which the final two will answer monday the jury members vote for the winner of big brother cheesecake 3 and tuesday december 24th is the is the live finale at 4 p.m where we will learn one week from today who is the winner of big brother cheesecake 3 under the sea i'm andrew chefs and moonves take care and we leave you as we eavesdrop on the house guests good night